Well, hello there, beautiful. Thank you for your patience. Life continued to happen. Things got in my way. Things have been a little bit crazy here uh, in the past where I'm playing, but there in the future where I'm with you again, everything is better. Everything's good. Well, look where we are. Back in Broken Age. We're going to continue. Um, we, uh, we wrapped up. I went and looked. We wrapped up with Shay. Let's see where this drops us. Probably with him since that was sort of my old MO, was to uh, save and quit with the previous person so that I could then switch back over. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to switch back over to Vela. Um, I promise, cross my heart, I did not look anything up, um, which uh, you may not be as thrilled about, actually, about my integrity, if it means that we're going to continue wandering around and not being really sure what it is we're supposed to be doing. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick it up see if we can figure something out here so um, let me just remind myself here we've got a helmet. not sure if the space helmet is going to be much use yeah that's seeing fair. that we're not really in space a good knife is handy to have around even when you find a pair of shoes that fit hang on to them hang on that's to what them. I say it's the trigger to Alex's death ray Wets. I think there's too much interference from the skin of the ship. Oh, maybe if I get it outside the ship. <laughs> now before I thought she was saying that it was just too far away from the death ray itself. We are still flying. <clears throat> Alright, so what I remember is is uh, we're trying to convince Mother to open the door. We need to get into those inner workings. And to do that, we're going to have to convince her that we're Shay, or at the very least, that we're someone that she should open the door for. Now, in other news, we've discovered that um, similar to the, the malfunction where these were shrinking Shay's head, they seem to be making Vela's head even bigger. So I'm, I'm wondering if we need to Still go through... Out of commission? Oh, right. That Guess one doesn't so. work. All right, that's the problem. So let's see, if we were to go through the trophy room, we could run all the way back around. Or if we went through here, that would just be a quick walk back. Okay. Oh, none of you will let me through. Okay. Um, so I need to go back. We're going to come around the other direction. See if we can come back through one of these. Unless my head is already as big as it can be. Is that the case? Let's find out, shall we? Alright, do do do. We're gonna work our way back around to one of these. Just to kind of answer the question, I'm trying to. I, I, um, I don't fully remember where I had hey left there. her in terms That's of her head. Exists. So let's find out. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? <laughs> Remember to come back through the way you came to avoid unwanted alterations. You made my head bigger. No worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Okay, so that's bigger. Come backwards through here. Is this right? No, wait. Yes, here we go. Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. Aww. Close your eyes and don't look down. Thank you for traveling with us. Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Oh, I'd forgotten I can I can jump uh, with the double arrows. I can do swift transitions. Okay. How about now? Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you! It's me, Shay! You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Okay. Um, sure. All right. First question. 
What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Oh no. Oh no. Um. <laughs> um. Senor. Senor. Go on. Chothra? But, but. But, but. Is that your answer? Yes. Senor, but, but. I see. You are not my son. No. Shoot. Wait. I was thinking of my second favorite toy. Let me try that again. Hello? Yeah, I'll try again. Okay. Her fa his favorite toy. I'm gonna go take a look at the trophy room again. <laughs> oh. Hello. Quick way to the trophy room is this way. Okay, his favorite stuffed animal is not Senor Butt Butt. Darn it. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be named Chothra, because I don't think he even knew about Chothra. Um, Captain something, maybe? I feel like there's a picture in here of him holding a stuffed something. I'm hoping it'll be of help. Let's see if we can find that picture of him as a little boy. Let's see, was it this one? Apparently, these people had giant monster spaceship technology before they perfected color photography. Okay, so it's it's a snake. I've got a picture of him with a snake. I'll give this guy one excuse. He yes. has weird childhood. <laughs> okay, um, he was into firefighting. Um, Shay's first space boots, age five. Age five was the first. Um, Space Looks boots. like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Okay. She said go on. Oh, but it, oh, excellent. It's going to eliminate it for me. Um, let's big. try big. Go on. Big kissy. Kissy. Is that your answer? Yes. Big kissy. I see. You are not my son. I think I need to do some more research. I did. I just know the answer's in here somewhere. Wow. I'm not I'm not dumb, game. I know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> that was that was a little rude. But how am I there's no names in here. I don't think. Okay, well I'm trying to do my research. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? It was Missy Missy Go on. Hissy. Von Tickle Tummy. Von Tickle Tummy. Is that your answer? No. Yes. Missy Von Tickle Tummy. I see. You are not my son. I just know the answer's in here somewhere. I get it. I know it's in here, but it's not written on anything. How am I supposed to. Okay. Maybe it's hidden in the background of this picture. Am I not looking closely? I'll enough? bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long. And so, Snake. I don't want to mess with this stuff. You know, it's precious. I don't want to cut that. I can't cut any of these out to see if there's a name on the back or anything. Hmm. Uh, Lil? Lil? Go on. Maiden Taker. Lil Shay. Hey. Is that your answer? Yes. Lil Shay, I see. You are not my son. No, wait. I was think. I think I need to do. Don't take me back. I know uh, the answer's in here somewhere. I am sure it must be in some form. How is it not this picture? I get that this all ties together. I see that. It's just the one thing that doesn't seem to be represented anywhere here is the actual name of his stuffed animal. And now that they've added this whole pulling me back out thing, I don't see how else to solve this except for brute force. I've looked now at all of the it's clues. Even bigger. Don't push it, honey. None Come of them none of them really sound like a snake name. 
If this takes too long, I'm, I'm going to cut some of it's this me, for you guys because I really do want to get through this and I'm, I'm probably just going to sit here and power through it until I do. Alright, first question. Yes. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal mm -hmm. as a child? What was it? Was it Captain? Captain? Pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Is that your answer? Yes. Yes. Captain Pretty Eyes. Yep. I see. You are not my son. Missy. Missy. Go on. Kissy. Missy Kissy. Is that your answer? Princess. Princess. Go on. On tickle tummy. I like Captain because he like he's he's really maybe Captain Shay. Shay. Is that your answer? Yes. Captain Shay. All right. So that that snake could be a Mister. Go on. Mister Huggy. Huggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Yes. Mister Huggy. I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remember yes. Mr. Huggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What Too bad. That? Nothing. Nothing. Let's see. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Oh, none of them. Please, can we not do this? That's that's exactly what you used to say all the time. You hated my nicknames. Yeah. I mean, Shay did. Now just one more question for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So. Please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. This is not my favorite kind of puzzle. I'll be honest. It's, uh, it's not, it's, uh, the challenge is more a challenge of stamina rather than a challenge of, you know, cleverness or, um, putting things together. Okay, it was this letter. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Mm -hmm. Dear Shoe Fairy. Uh-huh. Thanks for the shoes. Aw, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks. Shay. Sheesh. Demanding. This said something about shoes. Like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? Gained three shoe sizes. So does that mean that this is three sizes larger than the size we're looking for? So that mean we're looking at size four? I thought it said seven on here instead of six, but it wasn't an option, and so I got a little confused. Okay, so, hmm, this is the shoes with the skulls. He liked these an awful lot. This was when he was I wonder if six. he lost his first teeth by licking him. Right? So these are the shoes he had when he was six. These are his first, for, his first space boots. When he was five. Shay's first space boots. Age five. Cute. But I wish they weren't bronzed. I can't tell what color they are. Mm-hmm. That is tricky. Alright, so... He's gained three shoe sizes. So this was taken with the new shoes. He's now size seven. So these are size four. They have polka dots, but we don't know what the pattern Did is. Did you forget the rules? No, I didn't forget the rules. I forgot that you didn't drag me down here this time. So we're looking at size four with polka dots, but we don't know the color. Okay, that does it. I need to make a chart to keep these clues straight. I'll just take some of this paper and one of these crayons here. Okay. And voila. Well, hard part's done. Now I just have to fill it in. There's no way to fill it up. There's no buttons. There's no... 
Nope, that just closes it. I think I have all the clues I need. Ah. Uh. I think I have all the clues I need. I just have to put them together to fill <laughs> out this chart. She drew a cupcake down at the bottom. That's cute. And the dying mog up in the corner. That's that's nice with a big old knife in its head. Colors: red, green, purple, and blue. Five, six, seven, eight. Sizes: three, four, five, six. Why isn't seven listed as a size when he's wearing size seven shoes in that picture? I'm very confused. Okay. So we have a chart. We've got some things to sort through. This is probably also going to get heavily edited. Um, alright. She wants to know about his very first pair of boots. Right? Which are these ones. I think size four is right because he grew three shoe sizes after his after he had turned five, unlike his first five years. So up to five, he was wearing a size four because then we see him here at age six wearing sevens. Demanding. No age on it though. Red striped ones. Okay, so red striped and green with skulls, and we know he had blue. So, hey Mel. Hey Mel. It's so nice. So they're not red, green, or Hi. blue. Hi. Hi. Okay, so maybe they were purple. purple. And the size? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, size four. Size four. four. And they were polka dots. Polka dots. Oh. Oh. oh, thank it goodness. <laughs> Hi! <gasps> What's up? You're not a computer. You're not Shay. In we go. Uh oh. Oh! Who are you? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Wow. Let's see, who are you and why have you been kidnapping girls with a ship? My name is Vela Tartine, I shot down your ship. Where's the big mom computer that runs? I want some answers. Let's see, um, yes, I think this is, this is where we're gonna start. Who are you and why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? My name is Vela Tartine, I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? She is really thin. Her waist is the size of her neck. The wolf told me about you. Yeah. Okay, now just calm down. You, you need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. Mm. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> ah! Marikai, what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was. But then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. <laughs> Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, 
but is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Mm. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. Oh, hey. Now while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax. And know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, really? Up here! I'm a weapon! Hi. Okay. Well, progress! Yes! So thank you all very much for watching and suffering through this with me. Um much much love to all of you and i've missed you and uh i'm feeling good part of part of what stalled this out not completely but part of it was that i was starting to get a little frustrated um with the second act i feel like the puzzles are different in this second part and um and things are uh not quite as I don't know. They they the puzzles feel different, and and it's been a little bit tricky, kind of getting back into the rhythm of it. Um, so, but I I feel like we've just made some excellent headway, and I look forward to continuing even further with you. And that just about wraps it up for this episode, with just enough time left for me to say, ciao for now. <laughs>